All right, in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about graphing, which is, uh, you know, we've been introduced to this uh, TIKZ uh, TEKS package. And um, uh, this, this video is just going to show you some cool things you can do. You can actually graph functions. Uh, and, I mean, I think you can do a lot uh, in terms of graphing functions. Personally, I don't use this program to graph functions. Um, but, you know, it, it'll show you that, you know, this example will show you that if you're creative, you can really do a lot with teats. Um, okay, so uh, so uh, we start with our uh, teats picture. Okay, x equals five centimeters is going to give us sort of a, a gauge on uh, the steps. So I'll show you uh, how changing that will change things uh, in just a second. Okay, so first what we want is a grid, right? So we want some sort of like graph paper. Okay, so pretty much uh, what we're going to do is we're going to draw. So there's an option to draw a grid between two coordinates. Okay, so this is starting at minus point one. Okay, so to the left, and it's going to one point one to the right. So this is zero. This is one, and then it's going from uh, minus one point five here to one point five here. Okay, that's what the grid is being drawn over. That's the range. It's between uh, these two points. Okay, minus point one minus 1.5 and 1.1, 1.5, okay? And then here we're just saying, okay, we're drawing the grid, so that's a new option that we haven't seen before, uh, where we're just, before we're just drawing nodes uh, and edges. <clears throat> now the X step is saying, you know, how many uh, hashes should we put in, in what sequence? So it's saying uh, every, every point two put in a, a new line in the grid, right? It's sort of defining the, the horizontal mesh and and the same thing for the y step. It's defining the vertical, uh, the, the vertical length between these lines. So again, you can customize this. Light gray is just specifying the color, and ultra thin, so that you know when we start to graph things on this, uh, it's going to look. Uh, it, it won't, you know, uh, distract you from from what you graph. So now we want to draw the x and the y axes, and that's actually pretty simple, right? So before we saw with the Teeks program. Uh, with, with, with the networks that we were doing last time that uh, you can draw and the way we were doing is you, you, you specify two nodes and then you say draw from this node to from M1, 2, N2, right? Where instead now what you, you know what this is showing is that in fact you don't even need to, to, to specify the nodes first you can just put the coordinates first just put the coordinates so this is saying you know rather than create a node at 0 0 and another node at 1.10 and then say draw from n1 to n2 here we're just putting in you know uh, the, the coordinates directly okay so this is going to draw uh, an arrow from 0 0 to 1.10 um, and then again, this is the feature we said before, right? This is drawing a node. Uh, you know, in the last video, we were we used this to 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 label one of the edges, and here we're drawing it to the right, and we're labeling this arrow uh, as the x-axis. Okay, so now you do the same thing with the y-axis, and here we're going to label it sine one over x because that's the function that uh, we're going to be graphing today. Okay, so you so it's going from so you know for example we can make it minus 1.5 to get this thing to come all the way down here. You know, just so you see, changing the coordinates will change where the where the edges are. Okay, and then now let's draw. We're gonna draw. We're gonna plot this function. Okay, so um, uh, we we're gonna, the color is gonna be blue. Uh, the 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 domain so it's gonna go from point zero one to one. That's gonna be sort of the values of x that are taken. The samples just, uh, you know, because this is a, you know, sort of finite program, it's going to draw finite dots. It's going to look like a line, but, you know, um, you know, the more samples, I guess, the more uh, detailed it will be. Um, and then this is the plot function. So you want to plot minus x and sine minus x, okay? So this is sine 1 over uh, x, sorry. So here, I, I, you know, this is specific to plotting, I think, sine functions is that you have to put this r here, right? Uh, so I'll show you uh, another example. I'm Personally, I don't know why, but uh, when you do it, it works. So, you know, uh, you shouldn't ask, uh, normally I don't ask questions until it doesn't work. Uh, okay, so it takes a little bit to, to compile these things. 
like I said, you know, it's maybe not the most efficient, but it just shows you, I mean, just in creating this, uh, this, uh, this sort of graph paper y x axis, you know, already how much more you can do just, just after you've known how, learned how to draw, and draw the, uh, so you can see how the detail is a little fuzzy. Maybe if we, we set, we did more, you know, use more samples, the detail would get uh, better. Okay, so here you have sine 1 over x, you know, it's, I think that's pretty cool. So let's say instead we want to plot cosine of x, just plain cosine of x, right? Uh, so what we can do is get rid of sine of x. Now here we put x, here we put cosine, and okay, so again, here you have two sets of parentheses with this r here, and uh, it doesn't work without the r, I've, I've tried it before, so, uh, you know. Okay, so again, it may take a second to to compile this, but I think we're going to notice. Let's see. Okay, so now here's the here's the issue. Okay, so now we're pl okay we're plotting cos of x. So let's do that. Uh, the issue is that you know cosine of x should look like a wave function, right? It's a periodic function, and here we're only getting this tiny little piece because our um, uh, our domain is not large enough, right? So let's say we go from point 0, 0,1 to 10, right? Then we should start to see some oscillation. Again, it takes, uh, takes a minute to, to compile. But essentially what's going to happen is, uh, yeah, we're going to go off the page, okay? So, so, so this is where this x equal 5 centimeter uh, comes into play. So if instead we say x equal 0.1 centimeter, it's going to rescale everything to to a smaller level, and then we just have to fix, uh, you know, these these our grid here. Okay, so you see how okay that made it really small actually, <laughs> maybe too small. But you know, for now let's let's try to fix the grid before we compile again because it takes forever. Uh, okay, so let, we'll do everything to t you know sort of multiply by 10. Okay, so on, on these we want 10. Keep 0 where it is. Let's see how that looks. Let's see if we get something uh, something nice here. Again, just waiting to compile. And in the next video I'll show you, okay, if you don't use LaTeX, oh, what did we do? Oh, look at that. That looks nice, right? It's a bit, you know, we could cut this down a little bit. But you know, you get the you get the 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 point. Um, okay, in the next video, I'm going to show you what do you do if you 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 create you plotted this in a different uh, program, and now you want to take that image and put it into LaTeX.